Jim, I can't imagine playing this game without practicing. Well, Lenny, you're a pro golfer. You've, that's your job. You've got to practice a lot. But unfortunately, a lot of people that I work with don't have the time to practice a lot. They have a confined amount of time where they maybe they can just do practice swings. But that's where the drawing board comes in. With the drawing board, you've got a chance to use something at your home. You can use it in your garage, out in the backyard, probably different rooms in your house and, and make effective use of your time. And I'll tell you another thing that a lot of people will tell you is that you teach off ball flight, which I do a lot. I definitely do. You're going to see where the ball's going. That's great. But working indoors is a different way of improving your swing. And that's actually improving the movements of your swing, which is going to result in better ball flight when you get to the course. So, you know, I know you've done a lot of work on this yourself, making this the correct movement down here so you get that club slotted correctly, you've got to practice that. Now it's going to take some time for anybody, but when they do practice at home, instead of just using their normal bad practice swing, we're actually using a good practice right. swing. Right, so this the drawing board actually works like an instructor with them when they're not with a golf coach or an instructor. Absolutely. So they can keep kind of the feels and the guide going of what they've been taught before. It really gives them the picture of what a good player sees when he plays. It's counterintuitive that you're going to be swinging out to the right to the inside. Most people are trying to hit the back of the golf ball, and they're using their upper body too much in the golf swing. To get power into your golf game and to learn to be a good player, you have to learn the inside slot swing approach. You've got to get that golf club coming down closer to the plane line in order to hit the ball further and develop a draw before you can become a really good player. Yeah, that's exactly right, Jim. The drawing board and the practice with purpose system. Invest in your swing and start becoming a player. When I first came to see you a lot of years ago, I was actually very excited to come see you because your reputation as an instructor was really all world. So I was excited and to see how you teach and I obviously wanted to get better as a golfer and to see what kind of style of teaching you had and over the years I've really gotten to know you better and that's what I love about what we've done together is you've instilled in me the drill work you know let's get some efficient drills to kind of build a better swing so I know you don't endorse many golf products which is pretty unbelievable because you're such a great world-known golf instructor. So that speaks highly of, of the kind of person you are, but you love the drawing board. So tell me why you got involved with the drawing board. Well, Lynn, of course, you know, having you involved with it is really important to me and um, ha knowing how your brother succeeded with it. And then uh, bringing in here and, and seeing the visual aspect of it. Uh, I know that one big thing in, is teaching a person the inside groove, the slot, swing, you know, where the club's coming down on the inside. So hard for so many people to do. So this is a, a training device that people can use at home. Uh, I love that idea because of the limited time a lot of my, my students and the people that work with my teachers have. You know, they don't have tons of time, so they can get some productive practice in working on specific movements that are critical to becoming a better player. Lenny, as a, a tour professional, what do you like about the drawing board? Well, there's a few things that I really like about it. Obviously, it's a very simple mat, so it's not something that you're going to get all hooked up with, and it's, it's not really kind of an unreal type training aid. And the fact that I can do it indoors, I can actually take it to the range if I want to. But the big thing is I can do it at my time. So. Even things that we've talked about in the transition and the impact area, that I can then practice that with the drawing board on my time. So it's not something like if, if we have a, a lesson together and then weeks go down the road that I, I kind of lose that feeling because the, I, I'm with the drawing board. I can kind of maintain that same feeling over and over and again on my time of when it's convenient for me. So And, it, and it's actually clean looking. You know, when you look down, it's pretty simple as far as taking it back on that red line and coming through on the yellow arrows. Uh, in fact, I can see the yellow arrows looking down on it. It's kind of a great path visual 
of where that club needs to come through. So again, the, the little swings, you know, those mini swings of kind of just taking it back a few feet and then just kind of retracing that back and through, back and through, making sure the hands kind of lead the way on the, on the downswing. Little shots, so it's, and it's, it's easy on your body. You know, you don't have to hit hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of balls to kind of hope to get something that you're trying to search for. So this drawing board is instrumental in, in ingraining a repetitious swing. So right. that, that's what I really like. People may not realize that Vision Golf's research has shown at least 300 reps to form a new habit. So for the kids and juniors out there, and they're just starting the game, this is something very doable in a very short period of time with or without a ball. And it's actually very easy to, to get grooving a good swing.